Usually it needs to be very short, which is kind of interesting. Um, lately I've had been a couple of people, I don't know what this thing is all about, but uh, you know, it's because I'm, I'm basically the only American, at least with an authentic American accent, in, the, in this part of the Eastern Cape, I guess, you know. Um, anyway, um, uh, let me go back. Um, in, when I was first in graduate school, not now, but I mean for um, playwriting, um, this is back in the late 70s, um, at the, uh, the School of uh, Creative and Performing Arts, the Mason Grove School of Creative and Performing Arts at Rutgers. I didn't take my degree, thank goodness, I won't even tell you about that right now, but, but if I took my degree, I wouldn't be doing audio drama right now, which is what my passion is, what I, which is what I do, which, I, which, which, which is what I've been doing since 1989. But um, and in that thing, I think that a summer season, some plays in the summer, and I, and I was um, an assistant a stage manager to one of the pieces, uh, uh, Miss Alliance by George Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw, you know, George Bernard Shaw. I, I, I love, look, I like George Bernard Shaw. I mean, you know, whole eugenics thing notwithstanding, yeah, everybody has their ups and downs. Anyway, George Bernard Shaw, I really, uh, it's one of my, my, my playwriting uh, 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 heroes, or whatever, if you want to say it. Anyway, I did a play, uh, Miss Alliance. And in the play, there's a reference to a, a, a supposed to be a derogatory term to Indians, you know, the, the you know, the, the East Indians, you know, the, the dots, not the feathers. Um, and uh, I the, think the, the, the term was WOG, W-O-G, so, so, uh, it's, it's, I think it's, I forgot, it's something oriental uh, or gentleman, so I don't know, it was, it was some weird term, but it's supposed to be a derogatory term, WOG. It was in a play. And so they were debating whether they should use that term or not or change it to something else. And since I was the only black person around, you know, they asked my opinion. And I just looked, I said, well, you know, it's a historical thing, we should just, you know, just leave it, you know, but I got overruled, so they, they changed it to be politically correct. This is like, you know, whatever. So, um, uh, to make a long story a little bit short, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because, you know, different cultures have different, you know, derogatory things and, and uh, you know, you can't, if you're not in the culture, you shouldn't really be dealing with that derogatory term. So a lot, so I'm, I'm walking, for instance, today, <laughs> is um, some East Africans, I know, cutting hair, you know. And I say, I give a hail to everybody, because I'm that kind of guy. And you know, once in a while the cat says, you know, all right, my nigga. And I'm going like, I'm not your nigga. You know, I got to explain this to people, you know, blah, 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 and all the rest of the stuff. So unless you get through, unless you've gone through the middle passage, you know, then you can't be a nigga. You know, unless you go into the Atlantic slave trade, you know, the middle passage, then you can't be a nigga. It's just as simple as that. That's that's the thing. And in fact, the people who went through it and they, they, they we have our own issues. We shouldn't call each other niggas because we don't get into that. But certainly nobody from the outside, you know. So when people say that to me, I say, you know, they, they say, my nigga. I said, no, I'm not your nigga. But you know, just like you ain't my kaffir, or kaffir, or they were kaffir, you know, that's the derogatory term in this, this area. I think they sort of get it, but you know, they don't get it because they're so into the hip-hop culture, think they're trying to be hip, trying to be black, you know, that they do it. So I got to correct people all the time, but now I'm just doing a shortcut and say, no, I'm not your nigga, and, you know, and you met my kaffir. <laughs> that's it, you know. Oh gosh, that's it for me. T from the Patterson taking the train to the bed. Let you know what I only suspect.